going welcome to the swear corner those joining us for the very first time welcome y'all welcome to the channel it's another beauty video okay <sighs> I mm, today we're doing wait let me go catch my breath shall she so I literally bought products at Clicks, um, maybe two weeks ago now, two and a half or so weeks ago. <laughs> they were on sales in NY, NYX products, and then I did a whole video, and I was trying like on like a new camera, <laughs> and I filmed, but the camera doesn't have like a flip thingy. So. <laughs> Uh, it literally caught me like this this is basically the footage is literally just like this it looks so weird like someone amputated me or something so we're going to do this whole thing all, all over again maybe randomly I like putting clips if I miss information because I'm like I have the other footage it's just it looks weird and I'm not like happy with putting it out when I was removing my watch because I don't feel like it looks good but yeah that eye look was very pretty I think you've already seen it by this point I don't really my Instagram feed which I'll, I'll like insert now run away with me we're on the way to New York City take my hand and see Manhattan never looks so pretty travel light and see the world right And say hello to New York City. It was so pretty. Like I spent so much time thinking about that eye look. And then yeah. But anyway, if you don't follow me then make sure you do follow me on Orlonda underscore Armas. Definitely there. And yeah, let's get into reviewing. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I pray. I have the same enthusiasm and all of that good stuff. Because you okay. I'm literally laughing at myself so uh i want to start with back to do my eyebrows a little bit i was i don't even know what i did with my eyebrow gel from signature at this point because i'm like changing my um makeup situation but i found a pencil <sighs> my makeup storage place and you know throwing things out and all of that stuff so i don't really have no idea what i do with my thing so i'm just gonna use a pencil for now and i'll go in with like i'll find it it's just somewhere close right um for those who are like oh we need an eyebrow tutorial and all of that stuff i have an eyebrow tutorial two of them right here how i trim them and how i draw them like just here so link it also in the description box you, you will also find them there so right i don't even know how much this because previously i didn't even test them you know i just like went into them so i got like a, um the total control drop primer basically what that looks like it's so cute isn't it uh, reminds me of my l'oreal blue primer and i got these two shades this one looks like it could be my shade but it could also just be the bottle um everything was 50 percent off when i bought them this one's with 200 and 230 and then i paid 115 for each so this is um deep sable and this is mahogany akajo mahogany akajo is usually my shade in revlon but because i always i don't know i always go with these other brands even though when i was in the shop i forgot because remember I this can't stop one stop it can't stop one stop like the shade that is better suited for me that they had in the shop at the time is deep cool um that one there and it looks much darker than this foundation but I put, i'm bringing i'm putting it closer just in, just in case because yeah anyway i'm going to shake them and then we'll do sample tests and then we'll see which one fits me we'll start with deep sable because i trust deep sable mahogany not so much uh to suit me but you know my, my face is like very light here and much darker there so usually it tastes like this i put you so people can see you so this is sable After a nice shaking, she looks like she suits me. And 
Oh, does she really? She's light. But seems very blendable. Okay, that's not too, that's stable. And then mahogany already looks much lighter anyway. But I always like the undertone of mahogany. That's way too light. So we'll do deep sable and maybe mahogany. Maybe we'll mix them. I'm definitely going to mix them with um, can stop on stop already because the sun is not drying nicely, but that's still too light. Because you know me, I'd rather go for I'm trying to wipe them off. I'd rather go for something much like darker than something lighter because I feel like something darker is better to work with. Now I've removed. Um, we're going to prime. This primer is also a draw primer, and it don't say anything about shake it. Nothing. And I threw away the boxes already. <laughs> yeah. So drop control. It just says drop primer base. And it's supposed to be her matte finish. You can actually use a brush with this. You can apply it on your skin and then use a brush or. Whichever way is more comfortable because this is my product and just for me. I know I don't mind dropping it like on my on my hands or on my skin, just like that. By the way, 115 because it's also 230. And then I'm gonna go with deep sable. I'm gonna shake these things because it's always for me better shaking. Show you it's nice and runny like this. Mm, I feel like it's Really for the center of my face. I'm going to use a blender, very damp blender, and see if it like. This is really for the. Yeah, it's like if it looks like this for my. Of the center of my face it is really light i'm not going to try and use mahogany i'm literally just going to blend this in and then go in with can stop one top and then at the edges there and blend them out nicely so according to their well their, their website um this is the basic very liquid uh drops it's true it's very runny and it has a matte finish coverage is sheer to full so i think you can like build it uh, so you just somebody you just adjust the drops until you get the coverage i think that's most now the thing because it's buildable there is literally like nothing else that you can do to build it because it's so runny you would have to build it so i'm going to try and layer again before i put the other one the end can't stop one stop because can't stop one stop is definitely like a full cover foundation because the center of my face is a little bit lighter um i don't mind adding a little bit more to just the center i could have actually just blended like mixed the cast up one stuff because it's a bit darker like every time i put it on it looks much darker in the center of my face but i also feel like these are also drops that you can um let's sit on your face for a while because so that you can like blend in with your skin So this is what that looks like. Uh, I'm going to go in with guest up one stuff and I'm going to put it at the back of my hand. Because the idea is just that we get the coverage that we want. And then I'll start it like at the edges just there. That's basically how I'm going to set this in here. I could have actually just mixed the two because look at how nice it's like you see that nice blend there because I'm dark there the outer corners the blend is so pretty mind you I'm using the exact same side that I used for the drop foundation so this is just to blend both foundations in nicely so if you don't want to like blend on on, on the back of your hand you can actually blend like this actually with an uneven skin like much lighter here and much darker you can actually use two foundations like that just to combine them because then it looks like you've already had an additional like highlight 
but putting it at the back of your hand also controls how much you put in because you put on your face because remember this is apparently this is apparently the sheer foundation to like four but now i did like two drops but look at how the combination is for me very pretty i like the way it's showing up it's not so bad you can still see that this is much lighter but then the moment you turn you're like oh that's not so bad because you know oh look i missed the spot Because there's nothing more annoying than putting foundation on and it doesn't match your, the rest of your face. Like that's the most annoying thing ever. But this is a very good combination. I could actually go in and put in a little bit more. But I don't really want it to overwhelm what we're doing now. Because the idea is that we're almost now um, testing the drops. So I feel like if I put a lot of can't stop, won't stop. It's mostly the can't stop, won't stop that we have. And not the drops. Right. So I also bought the NYX Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. This one, Nikki, is literally for people with like dry skin because it's like it's not supposed to make you like dry. And yeah, I always forget that this is what you, how you open it, and it is like that squeezy thing, Nikki. Yeah, so it's a nice like applicator. This is not one of those that you share with people at all because I'll feel very ugh, I have to share this with people because yeah, you can't remove the applicator. You know what I mean? So, do not even have a shade? They even give you a shade. To give me a shade. Ah, this is warm caramel. So there. I like the way that it's literally starting to sit on my skin. You know, like after a while. Like the initial application is not so nice, but once you set it, let it sit, then it's not so bad. I'm also going to put here because I want to clean my eyebrow up. I forgot to do that. Yeah, it looks actually very nice. I like it. And then um, I didn't get anything like I said darker than that. So I am. So I'm going to use the Candid Foundation from Revlon, and this is like Coke. What is this shade? Coke, Coke Chocolate uh, Espresso 560. It's dark, and just for the contour. good thumbs and I'm going to use an applicator brush to apply it not a lot just a little bit And then whatever is left over is what I'm going to put here. Okay. I'm going to start by first cleaning up my under um, under the eyebrow. Simply because I want all this to sit. Sometimes if you want a good coverage from products, you have to let them sit on your skin a little bit before you blend them out. Oh, I think today is a good day for my eyebrows. <laughs> because sometimes... Oh, child. Okay, so we start blending. I'm going to start with a concealer because that's the one I put on there first because you can see look at how already it's sitting Doesn't that look cute? That looks cute That's basically that Now I am going to set and I've been using this powder from Signature. I don't know why I've been really losing it a lot for a while. But it's a Via Loose Powder. It's very nice um, setting powder. It's a translucent setting powder. And with the Beauty Blender. I'm gonna go in with a separate Beauty Blender. I'm setting it down so that I can like go in with the, because the blender that I used is not wet. I'm going with the wet one. But the, but the damp one that I've been using for foundation and everything. And use that to press everything in. You see how beautiful it, it says everything and then I'll go back with the powder and lay it here again so that just in case while I'm doing my my eye um, the product has like fallout it doesn't fall and ruin my whole makeup situation you know so these are the areas where it could potentially fall it makes it easy to wipe it away and I haven't done this in a while. I'm so used to working with like foundation first. I 
I mean, I'm so used to working with um, eyeshadow first. Now I'm like face and now eyeshadow. So I don't even know what I want to do, honestly. Um, I'm going to start by using the Born to Glow concealer. I like the shade and putting that all over my lid. You can go in with either a nice a, like fluffy brush or the blender also works to just blend the concealer on your lid. Like that. I'm, I'm going to use Dida Beauty Electric Obsession Palette and I'm going to start with orange. I mean this is basically what it looks like I've used it before on my sister and well, my sister is actually I'm going to go in and just I'm just laying this orange look I mean orange shadow as a transition transitions are very important so that you know you, there, there's a bare, there's a nice um, a gradient from your eyeshadow colors to your lid because usually you don't put um, any like eyeshadow all the way up to the to the eyebrows so this creates a nice like light gradient and that's why we're going with colors that are very close to our skin tones so that they can create that nice gradient when you do end up like going with much darker colors and then I'm going to go into the deep burgundy red color I'm going to try and use a different brush uh, because I don't know exactly how I want this look to turn out this is a more angled brush because I, just, I want it right in the crease just add a bit of like a different element to that orange that I put down I'm going with a bit of a yellow just on top of that orange there because I really want and I'm just stapling it in I just want a very interesting yellowy look at the top there I don't know if you can even be seen it's even showing up and then um, there's this purple here that I want to put in the inner corner see I outline things like this and I'm like oh I really want to do the purple here then I'm like, I don't even know what I want, what the look is going to look like, but anyway. So I'm going to put this in here because I know I want that. And just figure it out as I go along. Sometimes it comes out nicely, sometimes I'm like, what the heck was I thinking? But that's what trying and trying and trying is for because you get to create your, you come up with your own styles, your own creativity and flourishes because then you're constantly trying new things and so you can see different looks that you can create you just play around with color as much as you want and see where that takes you so that it's almost the same V on both sides now there's this like green almost blue turquoise that one there I'm going to use a different brush and go in with that one just after that purple. Do the exact same. The nice thing I like about this cut palette is that you don't have to do like an official cut crease where you use going with the concealer again. This uh, shimmer almost colors are so pigmented that they just pop up nicely. See, I'm even drawing a line. They just really show up very nicely. I love them. And then um, I'm seeing another almost very light purple that one, I don't know how light is showing up but anyway it's a very light purple and I'm going to take another brush and see if I can put it on there with it the, and then it also show up very nicely that's really light but that's cute I'm going to go back into this green blue one because I feel like it's losing like it's position on this side just so we can emphasize and say hey I'm also here yep that's the look I 
Hmm. I think I want to win that now. Anyway, but we'll continue. Ooh. I have this um, Colors Limited palette key here, and they also have the purple. It's like this the purple at the end is not like properly showing up so i want to see if this purple will help the other one out you know they made a difference anyway oh i also want to do something on the lower lid so I'm going to go under the lower lid of my eye and try and do purple. Ever so gently. Mm. And then there is this um, NYX push up bra for your eyebrow situation is like literally where the push up is like you can push it up it's the one that you use to draw your eyebrow but i like this inside because i can use it just to widen my eye a bit more open there we go and I feel like I want a liner, but maybe it also looks very cute like this, you know, like a wing liner. Um, let me put lashes on and then we can finish up this look. I'm going to go in to the Jackie Aina palette. There's this dark brown there that I used for my contour just to set my contour. Lashes are on now. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to go in with a setting spray from Maybelline. I've been using this a lot lately. Just for the area that I set with powder because again my skin is dry. I am going to use the strobing strobe of genius illuminating palette that's what it looks like this palette key came out like back in the day like four years ago so when people were like into strobing you know like when you look like you were like highlighted for a magazine this was the kind of like and then people come up with like different colors that you could use dark color for like there so that you just look like a light bulb that's what it felt like <laughs> but i'm going to use this as a highlight palette because i think it's very beautiful like highlighting situations mm, that dark there Well, I almost forgot that. <laughs> I forgot blush. And then I also got another blush of theirs. And this one is Boom Boom and Bloom powder blush. It's very darker than the other one that I have and it's very pigmented. So I'm not gonna use that's like three tips. And I'll just go in between there. That's enough blush and um that's basically all those are all the nyx products that i bought now we have literally gone through all of them i'll go in with my maybelline super stay the one the shade it's already too colorful yeah oh i think i should think oh where's my pencil i'm going to do black lip like black with the edges This is so old school. I'm going with this gray. If 
from Maybelline. Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, and this is the shade Huntress. She's cute. I literally love her. Like, I think she's one of my favorite ones in my like lipstick drawer. I think I was going through my lipstick ones. I'm gonna play around with lipstick all day. Her and this um, All Women Moisture Lip because every time you do like ombre and you mix it with like a dark color, the way that she just pops. So my two of my favorite ones. Uh, yeah. But th this is literally that. So basically, let's talk about this products. Um, I think they are very good buys. Literally, this is so different from the first time that I reviewed, like I went through this whole situation because I literally dumped the products on my face. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is not working. And I try and put the um, NYX can stop, won't stop on, on and then I was like, Bleh. <laughs> But now doing what I did with the Sable foundation, combined with the can't stop one stop this for me is a beautiful combination like you guys have seen like if you, if i do because it's dark dark enough for my from for the outer areas of my face and but then too dark for the um center of my face but this one is just right for the center of my face but it's too light for the um, outside of my face which means the combination of them works very well so i can literally like mix them together like this and combine them in get a nice like shade otherwise i can do what i do today every time i use it every time i want to use this i use this alongside that one like this i use them like that because then they're giving me a beautiful finish and the combination of the two of them combined is very very beautiful which gives me like a nice like even neat up skin you know and the oh, it's just pretty i'm like so impressed with like the deep cool and sable this mahogany will definitely be a highlighting um foundation that i'm going to use i'll always use it as a highlighter i'll find the way to always use it as a highlighter because i don't make foundations that go to waste if it's too light it will always act as a highlighter or like if i have a dark foundation i'll try and mix them like now i found a good um combination i'll try and mix them to create like a good shade but otherwise i really really like the foundation i like the drops and then i let it sit on my skin a little bit because that made it like it's true color really come out because it's so watery the moment you apply it you're like oh man this is not working but after it sets a moment before you blend it out it looks really like it gives you honestly like a nice true color you know like of what it really is so I really like that and yeah I, I think it was a good buy it was really a good buy it was like honestly a very very good buy I like this cutting Nikki yeah <laughs> that was so small like I cannot stand how small this is like can you like I cannot stand how small this is this is so weird this is so small like but anyway I would like if it wasn't on sale I wouldn't have bought it like seriously I wouldn't have bought it this is like 150 bucks like I wouldn't have bought it like I, I like I wouldn't have I seriously because it was on sale I bought it for like half the price I bought it for like what no I think it was like 90 bucks and it went for like 40 bucks I mean I guess this is key there I mean uh, I wouldn't have bought it because I'm just like what this is for though like can we like this is like three or four uses and then you're like it's done like why 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 but anyway <laughs> that's just me um but yeah, but I like also that see, even the Swaniki, it also needs to sit on your face for a moment before you blend it because then you get a lot of like pigment from it. And I like the way that I didn't use it a lot, but look at how nice the pigment is. And also I like the, the way that they work very well together with this translucent powders. There's just some powders that look like they're a bit too heavy. And when you put them on like a concealer, when you it just looks weird. But I like the way that the, 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 the translucent powder adhered, yes, adhered to this concealer. Very, very cool. So that's another nice purchase. And so the primer, like, it did exactly what I expected. It dried my face out. Not bad dry, but this is also a matte finish thing. Literally, the foundation is matte. It really does give you a matte finish. And then this, I think that is supposed to give you like sheer, but still like cover. Again, you can build all these foundations on. The Swaniki, just remember, you must shake this thing using the dropper or with a brush if you feel more comfortable with that because it's very runny. If you want it runny, you feel like you're wasting product. So that's that. As for the thick, this one in Kia, I like it. I've been using it for a while. So this has been open. I've literally been using it the whole week to see whether I like it or not. But I really like this. The only part I like about this is literally this section here. This one probably uses a lip thing or something, not like my eyebrow thing. No, no. No, no, no. Um, and it broke already. It's the reason why I don't like pencils also. Like pencils break too much. Now I'll go find a sharpener. But yeah, this is the set that I'm going to use mostly. This side is done. I'm probably going to throw this away because 
yeah so it's not i don't know what would make use of this brown at all like i just don't know but anyway so i like this this only doesn't work because my you guys know my my eyebrows are usually much darker than this i rather do like if i can't find i must go look for that eyebrow gel thingy if i can't find my gel i'll rather use a black pencil and go by with a dark brown um eyeshadow powder then it at least softens the, the eyebrow a little bit because it's already like a lot but i will not use this pencil here you know so but this is cool for like the inner corners when i need to open my eyes a little bit so that's amazing and i really love it that this you already know like you're going to see it a lot um you're going to see it a lot this one both of them and you see the other one a lot anyway it's like those two and i'm like a person like i had i will not go buy new i will not go buy new blushes every time i use them you'll be like oh there she goes again with her nyx blushes otherwise i'll use like colors from the eyeshadow palettes that have like reds and purples because you can also use those right uh but that one's good i anyway like the other one i don't think it was ruby something something i'll put it here if i remember what is the other one's name um, i think it's deep sable no lies deep sable is a foundation i forgot the other one's name but i'll put it here just much like oh i will get it now no. Um, the, see here is the other NYX blush that I had. This one is the Bam Bang, Bang Bang, and this one is Boom Bloom. See that how different? They are so different, and I love how different they are. Um, but yeah, and then this one I really like because I can use the highlighter. Um, also, I, I just bought it because it was on sale again. Uh, it was on sale, so I bought it anyway. I don't think I would have bought it if it was like on a normal price. Because I'm like, I can literally use any guys and like you make things work you know like i can use eyeshadow uh for that for highlighter so i would have probably so i wouldn't have bought it but i like that i actually bought it i like that i bought a few nyx products and i didn't just have the nyx like foundation separately so it's really cool it's just that their products is a little bit pricey oh by the way they were on sale at clicks because i think they are discontinuing them so I think once they're all sold out, clicks will no longer sell NYX products. I think you'll only be able to go online because I know you can go online and order, but that's a whole different situation on its own um, that you would have to deal with. I don't know, I haven't ordered NYX products. I really haven't. So yeah, when you go there and you see if they still have products left, I think by this time, and the same started like long time ago in like apparently in like January-ish. And um, yeah, one of my subscribers is the one who told, who told me about the sales please check them out they break they have a sale so when i did end up going to the grove i remembered that there was a sale i didn't forgotten and then i decided to go in there and see and get a few products so that's basically basically what i got and those products that i shared with you guys so that was really cool and it was really fun um so that's basically that um i have talked too much but I love this look. I love this look. I love the combination. I like that I actually came up with a bit of color for my eye because the eye was so pretty. Whew. But for me, it's literally the look. But everything else, I think, combined looks very, very pretty. And I'm really happy with how everything turned out. Uh, yeah, I changed my hair again because I'm that person, people. I'm that person. I cannot. I don't know how I'm able to commit with tattoos and piercings because with my hair, I'd like. Like I'm not a hundred percent committed person. <laughs> it's like one month I'm happy, and then I'm like, ah, I cannot. I'm done with this. Anyway, but yeah, that's basically the final thing I wanted to say. So I have nothing else to say. This is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so that you are posted before back, so that you are up to date. Be notified yes Ooh. that you're notified of all new updates and i really hope that you're enjoying these sunday vlogs um yeah that's basically it i